One of the things that has troubled me greatly, turn over to Zechariah chapter 6. I have had great difficulty believing that a human being is the branch of the Lord. Christ is the vine and we are branches off of Christ the vine. But I've, I've, I've had occasion to study other places where Christ it, where, the, where the, the branch of the Lord, Christ is a branch off of the Lord, we are branches off the vine. And I do not believe Elijah is the branch anymore. He is called a branch in one place, but that's translated from, it means a green, brilliant green shoot, and you'll be a brilliant green shoot too. But if you read Zechariah 6, and I'm trying to move at a certain speed here, because I hope we're about out of time, um, I need just a little while longer. <clears throat> if you pick up in Zechariah 6, here's what it says. Put these crowns on Joshua, verse 11, and speak to him, saying, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts. Behold, the man, that could be the son of man, whose name is the branch. Now, when it's talking about me, it usually uses my name or Joshua. <clears throat> You're telling him about it. Behold yourself in the mirror. Behold yourself in the mirror, the man whose name is the branch. Oh, that's me. No, no, keep reading. And he shall grow up out of his place and he will build the temple of the Lord. When you see the, in chapter four, when you see the plummet in the hands of Zerubbabel, he has laid the foundation of the temple and he will finish it. Christ is the branch. And I'm sorry for ever being confused about that. But here's what it says. He'll build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall bear the glory. Oh, you mean like Daniel? And shall sit and rule on his throne. Oh, you mean like all these verses we're reading? And he shall be a priest upon his throne. And the council of peace shall be between them both. Who? Joshua stands in front of Christ every day. Between the two of them. Building the temple of the Lord. Because if the father's in the background, you better seek him. He's the one who, whose kingdom this is. But so far, it's just the kingdom of Christ. But it's everlasting. It never stops. And it's the throne of his glory. What we're waiting for, and I apologize, but God said the mystery would end at the end. We're waiting for, what we're waiting for is way better than anything we thought about. And we're learning it kind of right on time.